What's up, solo sportsters? I've got Louis Armstrong Stadium behind me at our Flushing, Queens location located on the awesome grounds of the U.S. Open to film a review of the Wilson Blade 100 V9. Stick around, see what we thought about it, and figure out if this is the right racket for you. The Blade 100 V9 is a great example of a company listening to the marketplace and bringing it to the masses. For example, when the Blade 100 first came out in the V8, it was only available to select large retailers and massive online stores. So this racket, while it used to be unique, is now available worldwide, available in all stores. The Wilson Blade 100 V9 has a head size of 100 square inches, an unstrung weight of 300 grams, and a swing weight of 322, putting the balance at the 32 centimeter mark, making it four points head light on this soft 60 RA frame, which is a standard 27 inches long and a constant beam of 22 millimeters. The stock grip is Wilson Pro Performance. The string pattern is 1619, and it comes in a dazzling emerald night dark green colorway. For this play test, we decided to string the racket up with Luxalon Eco Power at 52 pounds. This high performance polyester is made 100% of recycled materials and has a dashing green color to match the racket. Now we can't talk about the Blade V9s without talking about the absolutely dazzling emerald colorway that this racket comes in. It is an absolute showstopper. You see it everywhere on TV. Even players that are still endorsing Ultras looks like they're endorsing Blades. I think it's an absolutely awesome paint job and I also, as a person whose favorite color is red, love that red W on the side. It's a real nice accent point and you can string this racket up with the Eco Power like we did here where it matches the racket, the Alu Power Lime where it matches the Quick Change Grommet system, or you can pull out the Luxon Element IR Soft where it pulls out that red from the logo. Absolute showstopper of a racket. If your goal is to look good on the court, maybe not play great, but if your goal is to look good as number one, I think this racket is an absolute top shelf choice. From the baseline, this racket was a pretty solid choice, especially for someone who likes to take a big cut at the ball. Now, if you're someone who prefers to massage the ball and move the ball around and maybe play a little more defensively, wouldn't be my first choice. But when I was stepping in and really cranking the ball, taking it early, taking it on the rise, I was having an absolute dream. I was honestly surprised by how well I was hitting some of my forehands. I was ripping them like crazy and they were staying in. So this is a great racket if you want to take a full commitment to the ball and maybe you have a slightly more modern stroke because that 100 square inch head size gives you a little more room for error. So this racket really isn't made for the faint of heart, you really have to commit to your shots. The Blade 100 from Wilson is a relatively unique spec for Wilson. The vast majority of their control-oriented rackets are smaller head sizes, like the other blades, like the 98-18-20 and the 98-16-19, as well as things like the Pro Staff, which are 97 square inch head sizes, and even if you want to consider like a Clash 98 or a Shift 99 Pro as more control-oriented rackets, almost none of them break that 100 square inch head size. So the Blade 100 is very unique in that it's that bigger head size, but still a very control-oriented frame. After serves and forehands, my next favorite thing about this racket was absolutely slicing backhands. I felt like this racket just cut through the air like a dream. I felt that the thinner beam really allowed me to knife my shots without worrying about the ball floating on me. I could keep that racket on front and just really drive through it and it stayed low, or if I needed time, I could pop it up a little bit, but this racket was an absolute perfect racket for slicing. I felt like I had the room to really get under and really drive through it and get great spin, great depth, and really push my opponents back while still remaining very consistent and very safe on my side.
Up at net, this racket was pretty solid, but I think I was more solid than the racket was. Uh, the 100 square inch head size left a little bit to be desired in terms of stability. Um, although it did give me great control and I felt like when I really stuck the volley that I could penetrate deep, I could get some nice slice on it, um, and it, nothing was jarring about the racket. Um, but just slightly off center shots felt like the racket twisted a little more than I would have liked. But I think that has more to do with it being a 100 square inch head size than it has to do with it being a blade. I think all the technology within the blade really makes this racket super comfortable and super plush up at net. Um, but I think just that larger head size, which gives you some added benefits on the baseline maybe, sort of uh, you have to trade off with some of the benefits that you would normally get up at net with a smaller head size. Now serves is where this racket absolutely surprised the living hell out of me. I felt like I was absolutely crushing my serve. I felt like I could send the slider out wide with ease. I was smashing flat down the tee without any problems. Uh, I felt like I could just absolutely go for my shots and the sweet spot felt massive. It set me up for easy putaways, easy to be on the front foot and taking charge of the point with the serve on this racket. And this is an example of where that 100 square inch head size was an absolute benefit and I absolutely loved it as compared to up at net where I felt like it was a bit of a detriment. So this racket was really great on my serve, put me in a great position and I really can't wait to take it out onto a double score where I can just serve, come in and put balls away. Thanks for sticking around to the end of this review of the Wilson Blade 100 V9. If you have any questions or want us to review other rackets, strings, shoes, you name it, comment down below. We always look forward to hearing from you. And as always, we look forward to seeing you in the next video.